We're back on this Monday evening. It's weather for Weather Geeks time. Hope you had a great Easter holiday weekend. The weather turned great over the weekend with wall-to-wall -wall sunshine for our Sunday, and that trend continued right into today, and that trend will continue for another handful of days. Today's number is more like May rather than April the 10th. 58 is average for April the 10th, but 10 better than that this afternoon. A big diurnal range across the area today. It was a cold morning, some frost out there this morning with temperatures in the mid-20s, but we rose 42 degrees during the daylight hours today. That's a pretty big diurnal range. Nowhere near a record or anything, but still pretty impressive. And this is that time of the year that we can see those big diurnal ranges, typically kind of mid-spring and mid-fall. That's kind of the two times of the year that those kinds of ranges are most common. All right, with the uh, warmer weather this week, uh, the hummingbird migration will continue. I uh, have seen some reports of hummingbirds being spotted as far north as about the Columbus area. It's a little more common, certainly south of the Ohio River and south of the Mason-Dixon line down through the mid-Atlantic states. But of course, with the coming weather, uh, the hummingbirds will continue finding their way north over the next several days. Maybe time to put out those feeders here before too much longer. Weather pretty quiet across the country this evening. We have one little severe thunderstorm watch down here in Oklahoma and Texas. Storm crashing into the Pacific Northwest, but uh, most of the U.S. is in pretty good shape, including around here this evening, where it will be a partly cloudy evening and a mostly clear overnight. We have almost kind of an omega block look to the upper level flow. Uh, it kind of looks like this. Kind of, sort of, omega block-ish. Um, and this is paying us dividends. It, it, when we see these kind of blocking patterns, sometimes that's not good news for us, sometimes it is. When the blocking looks like this, with a trough here and a trough here, usually in between, you got really nice weather. And uh, that is the case on this uh, Monday evening. Our sunsets, of course, continue to get later. We'll have an 8 o'clock sunset coming up on Thursday. A week from today, it's at 8.04. 8.11 by April 24th on the, on the first day of May, our sunset at 8.19. So in addition to the warmer weather this week, it's really starting to feel and look more like spring with the light continuing well into the evening. I uh, have heard lawnmowers frequently over the last couple of days, and uh, things are budding up and greening up really rapidly. So uh, spring is really kicking into high gear uh, this week. And if you do need to mow tomorrow, Wow, what a great day it's going to be for that. Not as cold tomorrow morning. Again, we were in the 20s in most spots this morning. Upper 30s to around 40 as Tuesday gets underway. Have lunch outside if you can on Tuesday. Play hooky in the afternoon if you can because this is going to be a day to get outdoors. That is for sure. Uh, middle 60s by lunchtime. And I think we'll do 70 or so before the afternoon is through and we'll do even better on Wednesday. We'll have a few fair weather clouds in the mix on our Tuesday, but I think Wednesday may start with a few clouds. It turns out to be a bright and sunny day and nothing but sunshine coming our way on Thursday. Just not much to show you on the model this evening as high pressure is firmly in command of our weather. We're in great shape through Friday, in fact. With no changes really until the weekend, we might see a shower here and there as early as Friday night in parts of Saturday. I think there's a better chance of wet weather Saturday night into parts of Sunday. This is with a cold front heading our way. The timing on the front, the exact timing, a little uncertain. Is it early in the day Sunday? Is it later in the day? We're not quite sure yet, but either way, a pronounced cool down will occur behind that front Sunday night into Monday, and so we go from probably uh, into the 60s and 70s down into the lower 50s for daytime highs, but it's only for a couple of days. I do think the pattern rebounds pretty quickly towards the second half of next week, so that uh, you know, 9 below average, 7 below average you see early next week, that's only for two days. I do think uh, we get into kind of a back and forth pattern then for the rest of of the month of April, but I'll tell you, this is one of the best April forecasts we've had in a long time around here. Enjoy the sunshine over the next few days. Enjoy the dry weather. We'll find more interesting things to talk about in the world of weather and science and astronomy and everything else on future editions of Weather for Weather Geeks this week. Thank you for watching tonight. I'll see you back here on Tuesday.